Welcome to our tutorial for creating a set of icons in the unified style using Fidgetal Plus. We will walk you through the process step by step. In this video we will design the concept of game icons inspired by the legendary game Fallout. The pipeline of this task can be divided into five steps. 1. Preparing a set of reference images. 2. Training the Dream Booth model on the style of the game. 3. Describe the prompt from the reference image. 4. Sketching and generation. 5. Post-processing. Let's get started. Step 1. Prepare reference photos for model training. Dream Booth only works with 512 by 512 images. Therefore, I will crop each photo. I do this in Figma, but you can use other common options such as Berm, Photoshop, etc. Try to pick images, not just with example icons. And also add screenshots of the interface, expressive shots of locations, and anything else that you think conveys the game's style well. Try to capture the most important elements in the shot. You need a minimum of 20 images to learn on style. The more you have, the more accurate the results will be. Step 2. Training the model in the Fallout game style. Now comes the most exciting part. Go to your Fidgetal Plus account. Right-click and select Import Files. Select and upload our files. If I right-click again, I see a list of neural network features in our tool. Let's select the training section, add Dream Booth and connect the import files to it. Class Prompt. Style of or Artistic Style. In our case, we will write Style of Game. Subject should have 1. A unique name 2. The phrase in the style. The full subject will be in the style of Fallout game. Open the settings menu. Steps minimum number 1500. Class images 10. Now we can start our node and it will create our custom model in about 30 minutes. Step 3. Generating a prompt from reference images. Now let's choose some images with the game interface from the collection of references. Screenshots or images showing various elements of the game interface, such as buttons, menus, or information screens are suitable. Let's add the selected images, each to a separate import files node. Then right-click, select prompt section, add the describe image. The settings tab allows you to change the number of query words and select the version of stable diffusion in which it will be applied. Copy the node under each image, plug it in and run it. You can try different combinations and experiment with the generated prompts to improve the style and appearance of your icons. Step 4.1. Sketching the start image. It is necessary to create basic icon shapes, which will be further used in the generation as a start image. It is possible to manually sketch the necessary images directly in the interface of Fidgetal Plus. To do this, open the menu in the upper right corner of the screen, switch the mode from in painting to sketching, and you can draw in the field below. When you're done sketching, click Sketch. In this case, I picked up a set of basic free icons with the necessary images. Align them to size and arrange them on a format. Step 4.2. Generating the icon set. We will use the control net node to generate it dot. Let's add it to the workspace by right clicking and selecting the transform category in the context menu. Connect our sketch to the start image input. Insert the previously generated prompt making sure to add the subject we specified earlier when training the style in Dream Booth to the beginning. In this case, in the style of Fallout game. Open the Settings tab, set the type parameter to HED. In the Dream Booth section, select the model that we have trained. The rest of the settings are set to optimum values, so you can press Start. Then, you can change the settings and input data while selecting the desired variant. Continue generating variants until we get a suitable one.
Step 5. Finalizing the result and final generation. At this step, we can already get satisfying results. But in this case, we will make a slight modification of the received variant and make another generation cycle. Download and open it in Photoshop. Remove the background, remove unnecessary elements, add an accent color on each icon. Set the icon frames to the background and adjust the brightness and contrast parameters a little. Save the result. Import it back into Fidgetal Plus. Connect it to the Control Net node and start generation. If you are satisfied with the result, open the settings menu and fix the value of the seed parameter. Make several copies of this node. Slightly changing other settings in each of them. Start the generation. This way we'll be able to fine tune the visualization of the set of icons. Choose the desired variant. Remove the background using the Remove Background node. And then connect to Upscale Image, Enlarge and download the result. All done! We have an authentic set of icons in the style of the game Fallout. Experiment with the style of your favorite games or perform real work tasks in Fidgetal Plus. Thanks for your attention.